Okay, I got my color key open, and as you can tell from this, I have flatted everything on this page, and it is ready to color. So, let's see, to start, I will go down to the background here, select all the background with my wand, I'm going to create a new layer now. And this one is going to be called Ice. Then I am going to go into an FX folder that I have and open up Textures and Patterns. And I'm going, I need to make my view bigger so I can see what I'm doing here. But I have a lot of different textures. I'm going to go down to S for snow. Hmm. Don't know why I have two of those. So I'm going to delete one. Now, let's see here. Past all my shirt folders here. Uh oh. What happened to my snow? Hmm. Maybe that's in weather. Whoops. That makes sense. Snow would be in weather. Just a little hiccup here. And let's push S, get down there faster. Snow falling. And there's my snow. So this is a folder of, or a picture of uh, sand that I took. And I changed it to blue. So that I can use it as a texture when I'm drawing snow. So I'm going to hit copy and close that and in here switch to my arrow remove tool is what it's called and I'm going to hit paste into selection because I already have the whole background selected you can see the dancing lines going around the entire blue area and I am in my ice layer. I'm going to call it FX Ice. Oh, why didn't it let me name it? So, now that I've got that out of the way, make sure I'm in the right layer and paste into. So it now has pasted into, but for some reason. It is bigger than the entire area, so let's try and move it to the appropriate areas here. Let me get my rulers off. There we go. And as you can see, now my background looks icier. But I'm going to change the over here. You will see opacity at 100%. I'm going to notch that down to maybe 75. There we go. And there we go. Now whenever I color the background behind it, it'll change the colors of that. Now what else do I need to do? So, let's start on panel 1 here. I'm going to zoom in to about that. Sixty 
67, huh? That should do it pretty good. And I am still on, I need to move to the background here. And I'm looking to color this a little bit differently. And I need to pick a lighter color of my blue. Pick a brush. Splatter brush one or Splatter brush two. I think I'm going to go with the two. I have it set on the mode is set to screen at opacity 61%. Let's see what that does. First of all, I wish for some reason it doesn't show the brush when I'm using it. Most other Photoshop's do. I don't know why mine doesn't. If you happen to know why that is, let me know. Hmm. Hmm, I wish I could remember the best things here. But I don't. Oh, I don't even have a tablet, so none of that matters. All right. Anyway, so I'm going to start highlighting it here. Whoa, that's too much. Undo. Change my brush size down to 500-ish. Nope. Got to get even smaller, huh? Down to 250. Yes, that's what I want. So I want it light behind her. Gradually going up into lighter. There we go. I think I like how that looks. Perfect. Now, let's see. I'm going to go up into hair now. With the wand tool, I'm going to choose her hair. Well, first, I'm going to make the hair layer disappear so I can see what I'm working with. So, as you can see, I've color held the lines into yellow. And I think I'm going to lasso it. What are you doing here? Yeah, but I don't want to see it. There we go. I'm going to lasso this first part.
connect. Now, above here, not above small things though, I'm going to make an FX hair layer. Open hair layers. So in my FX, I also have a folder of hair. And I've got black curly hair. And this character is a blonde, so I'm going to go down to blonde here. Black, 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 black. Why do I not have blonde? light. That's where I need to go. So I'm trying to match up to that. need to, well, let's shrink it down. Select it. Copy it. Now I'll get selection tool. Maybe I'll exit out. Okay. Here we go. In the FX, and uh, what do I need to do? Paste into selection. Now it's super big, so I gotta first gotta flip it over to the right way. This is what I call my cheats, because basically it is cheating on how to color. But you know what? It works for me, it saves me a lot of time. As opposed to uh, when I was learning how to color, it used to take me eight hours to color hair. And then I lost my files and had to start over, and for some reason, this is how I figured out how I wanted to do it. But, let's see here. Get it to match up here. Maybe I was wrong at flipping it. I want the hair flow to match up here. It's not working how I want it to, though. Hmm.
just kind of mess with it until I get it to how I want it to look. Which I think I'm good right... Stretch it there. There we go. No. One more stretch. That's it right there. So I'll okay that one. Now I'm going to go into enhance and adjust color, color variation it. And I want to work on the saturation here. That's what I want. There. Now, let's see here. Selection tool. down her hair connect. There we go. That looks right. And then get back into the pointer tool. And I'm going to paste into selection again. Let's see here. Oh, wrong button. here. There we go. Check that. And again go into enhance, adjust color, and color variations. So that now I'm going to lighten, 
Wait, why is it? No. Cancel. Why is it doing the rest of the selection? What's going on here? It's not letting me do it. It's actually Maui shapeshifter demigod of the wind and sea. can go and enhance the color variations saturation no there we go midtones lighten and I think that works there and that's how I do hair, but I want this darker. Under here. And I want this darker here. some other random spots that I want darker here. I don't like that one. Just selecting parts that I want darker. Probably this part should be darker, but I'm going to get the lasso tool for that. up her face profile here. And there. I think that'll work. Hmm. Maybe one more spot here. see how that turns out. I'm already in 25 minutes here. Enhance, adjust color, color variations, and 
I want it darker. So I want to increase the red. Darken. How about I decrease the red? See that? Hmm. No, but I want the shadows. Dark. 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 And the highlights will hit light. Hmm. And one more dark. Nope. Undo that. Shadows. Un one more dark. There we go. Yeah, that looks okay. And that's how I color hair. So, let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's good. It is. I'll leave it at 100% opacity. And there we go. Hair is colored. So remember, uh, as always, you can find Rent Arb Studios on all social medias as Rent Arb Studios Comics. And on Twitter, DeviantArt, Facebook, and Instagram. And you can find Peter Pan the Vampire comics on IndiePlanet.com by searching for Peter Pan the Vampire.